Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Minecraft for Minecraft version 1.7.2. And the reason why I'm doing another video or tutorial on this is because on the other video, the last video of this, uh, apparently people were having problems installing. That's probably because of um, you know an outdated version. So I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, the new version of it, which is for Minecraft version 1.7.10 which is an older version of Minecraft, but this is the only version that the mods are working for right now. So, what you want to do is press the Windows key, type in run, and once you type in run, you should see this little like little thing pop up over here, and you'll type in percent, uh, data percent, and press OK. And once you do that, you should see a dot .minecraft folder. So, what you want to do is you want to make a backup of this folder here. So, you want to right click on it, press copy, and go to your desktop and press paste and now once you did that you want to right click on it and rename it so rename it however you like okay then so there you go just renamed it backup and now once you have done that, because uh, it's actually really important that you save this uh, because in this .minecraft folder that's where you have all your worlds installed or you know, saved so if you don't want any of your worlds to be deleted uh, or just uh, make a backup of this like I just showed you how and now once you did that you want to right click on it and press delete and now once you did that you want to open up minecraft And so once you finish that, you want to log back in because you have to log back in, of course, because you just deleted your .minecraft folder. And sorry for my loud keyboard. And there we go. So now you want to just log in or press play game. And it should install everything here. So yeah, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and come right back to you when this finishes. So now that you've finished installing the, the Minecraft, you now want to simply just, uh, well this will open up here, and you simply just press click uh, quick game, and open up your roaming folder again, you should see a dot Minecraft in there. And it should have everything, um, you know, everything is new, everything was uninstalled, there's no mods in here anymore, nothing like that. So now let's actually get to the mod installation part of the video. So you want to go to this video, this website here, which will be in the description. And you want to first, you should see right here, latest 1.7.2 slash 1.7.10. And you should see three folders here. You want to open them up in a new tab and install them individually. So we got to wait three seconds, two seconds, one second. And once that finishes, you want to press download and then press save and uh, this will take a minute here here we go and now what we want to do is install the other other two, last two which will take not too long at all And so this one will take a, this was the only one that will take a little bit here. So I'm going to pause the video after I finish installing these last two. Be right back. Alright, we're back. And we finished installing this one. Now i got to finish installing the last one here. Which will take a second for this one to install. It's really quick. And there we go. So now that you have these, you want to go to your desktop. And you want to drag and drop these three about jars to your desktop and now that you did that you want to go to another website here so I'm going to get out of there and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on download minecraft forage which is very crucial you download this so once you're here you should see minecraft versions you want to hover over it and press 1.7.10 and now once you did that you want to scroll down and you should see download latest 
and you want to hover over the Windows icon because we are using Windows and click on it and don't click on any of these up here you should see a please wait in five seconds and press skip save and wait <coughs> and there we go it's virus free so don't worry about anything like that so now I'm going to drag this down to your desktop again and open up Minecraft for last time and you want to run the version 1.7.10 so to do that you want to go down to the left side here bottom left press edit profile and you should see use latest version click on that and scroll down to 1.7.10 save profile and play now this will just take a second as well to open And now you did that, uh, quit your game. And now go back to your roaming folder where your dot Minecraft is located. Open that up and wait here. And now that you did that, you want to open up Forge, this little fo Minecraft Forge right here. And you should see install client. And make sure that is selected and you should see where your Minecraft is located. If it's not down here, then just simply find it. So now press OK. And this will take a minute for this to install, so I'll be right back. Alright, so now you should see this complete tab open up when you finished completing the installation for Minecraft Forge. Press OK. Open up your Minecraft, and you should see when this opens. In the bottom left, you should see Profile. Click on that, and you should see a new profile here called Forge. And then press Play and wait for this to open which will take momentarily so no need to worry about that and once this opens you should see three mods loaded three mods active you should see a mods tab here and that means you did it successfully so good job and now you go to your dot minecraft here you should see a mods folder that was given to you after you saw minecraft forage and the drag and drop these three dot jar folders in here which is the mod itself so there you go that is how you install it so now open up your minecraft launcher again play game and there you go you should have that folder pop up for you and here's the game itself and I'll be showing you proof that it actually installed so you should see six mods loaded six mods active here we go. Get Gothcraft mod installed. Single player, create new world, and I'll show you that it worked. And once you open the game, you should see instantly a mini pop up. And so that means you did it correctly. So good job, guys. And yeah, we did it. So. Um, if this video helped you at all, if it didn't work for you at all, uh, s obviously just let me know. Uh, it should work for you because this is the latest version for it that it works. So if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. So if you have any questions about the mod itself, don't <laughs> tell me because I don't, or don't ask me because I don't know anything about this mod. But anyways guys, hope you enjoyed and see you next time.